Welcome back to Legally Brown. As we entered the finals of this grueling competition, five contestants remained. There was Telly, who impressed the judges with his unfailing sense of self. The show is called Legally Brown. I'm Brown. Derek, whose determination and challenges left no doubt how much he wanted to be here. I just feel so connected to his character and I just know that I can do it, and I just need to be this guy. Noah was brimming with self-confidence and was ready to take Pete Agua Guy in a whole new direction. Since I was a bar mitzvah boy, since I became a man, I knew I was meant to play this role. Norm had been flying under the radar and had never fallen into the bottom two. I'm the older guy in the group, I'm wiser. And of course, Eliseo, for whom this entire enterprise was something of a shock. Esta mañana me llamaron y me dijeron que vaya al 37 Arts Theater. They said, Ben, tenemos que verte cantar la canción Piragua porque no sabemos si vamos, si te vas a quedar con la parte. From our final five, there could only be one. But who? Here's the ubiquitous Seth Radetzky to break down the competition. Nail it. Derek Scott something. It's it's like a he's got phlegm. It sounds tight. I would maybe open up the vowel. You know, keep scraping. Bah! Derek has no high notes and what Derek has done is made it he's made it his own. One, two, three. Keep scraping. Bah! Yeah. I I don't think it's your best place for your voice. Maybe we should focus on where you sound best. So maybe do kind of like a keep scraping. Bye. One, two, three. Keep scraping. Bye. Yeah. That, that's going to make you stand out. The commitment to just being himself and the commitment to not going any further, I, I mean, I think is impressive. Derek tried his hardest, but the judges wanted more. It should feel special. What, what does each flavor mean to you? Mm. You know, is, do you feel the same way about pineapple as you do about cherry? As Derek was struggling to take it to new heights, Telly was struggling to hit the right note. When you see, you gotta see, see the, the color. color. I love that uh, the Piragua guy is, you know, this ethnic Hispanic, and I love that Telly is, um, I don't know what he, is he Chinese? There's something ethnic about him. Is he Japanese? And Mr. Softy's trying to shut me down But I keep scraping by the fading line What was that? I don't know why it's so straight tone. Oh, you want some yeah, vibrato? If Telly can get his green card and get his immigration status settled, he, you know, he definitely could get work. But I keep scraping by the fading line Ooh, Telly is not the strongest singer in the group. I mean, like those notes, what was that? Like, I've heard him be good before, but I don't know what was happening here. I mean, he's got a lot of good acting going on, though. When Telly and Derek landed in the bottom two together, a shocking twist was revealed. Double elimination. I'm sorry, you're out of business. Please turn in your apron and go. And then there were three. No one was happier about the double elimination than Noah, who was closer than ever to making his Piragua guy dreams a reality. Piragua, Piragua, new block of ice, Piragua, Piragua. You know, if you can kind of separate yourself, like you're in South Pacific and the whole show is very naturalistic and it's not so sung, it's kind of more back crazy. What's great about Noah is that he's great for certain shows. I mean, Fiddler on the Roof, he is perfect. Um, Chuchem. I don't know if you're familiar with that. Um, a Yiddish, a Yiddish type show. One, two, three. Piragua. No, just, well, just wait until the next time you want to see Piragua. I'll just keep going. Okay. Just have a reason to sit. I see Noah. I, I don't see him in a show. I want you to be real. Okay. I don't, why are you looking at this? Right, 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 right. Okay. If you feel it, sing it. If you don't, don't. One, two, three. I didn't feel it. One, two, three, you come in. Do you see that? I wasn't, you told me not to look. Any show. 
Noah's motivation to win reached back all the way to his childhood. At my bar mitzvah, at the party, um, my mom pulled me aside. You know, I had all my friends there. My mom pulled me aside and said, look at that man over there. There was a, a guy from the hotel serving um, gelato, which is so similar in certain ways. And she said, that could be you. Noah looked like he had the competition in the bag until he suffered an unfortunate wardrobe malfunction. I don't have to um, point out the obvious. Uh, this hat doesn't fit. The judges became concerned, but could not make a unanimous decision about what to do with him. He's charming. I mean, he's even got great hair, which adds to his personality, but like, what was he doing with that hat? I mean, how is yeah. he gonna do the choreography? I mean, if the hat keeps falling off. Until this Jewish Pitagua guy was sent into the wilderness in search of another home. I think I did really well today, and if I'm eliminated, it's because of the hat. And then there were two. There was Norm versus Eliseo. Winner takes all. I just, I just knew that I had to be a part of this and to be on that stage singing those songs. Norm Lewis, oh my God, when he sang, you know, 15 years ago was fantastic. How has it been living with everybody? They're kids, so they like to do kid things. They stay up late, they drink a lot. I get to bed, you know, I'm serious about this whole business. So I think I'd be great for the show. Norm showed the judges amazing physical strength and vocal prowess week after week. He's not the freshest face out there, though. Despite age concerns with Norm, Eliseo's disenchantment with the competition made it difficult for the judges to give him his job back. Eliseo laid the groundwork so that talented people can take over, and, and that's what's wonderful about him. Frankly, I think it's insulting. I mean, it's pretty devastating. Um, if anyone should still be on Broadway, it should be Eliseo still playing his part you know, on I, Broadway. I love Eli, but I have to disagree. ¿Cómo puede ser? Esto no es justo, chica. No sé lo que está pasando aquí. ¿Qué fue lo que pasó aquí? No sé. Me dijeron, come to 37 Arts. Esta mañana, y yo vengo aquí. Yeah, vengo aquí. Hay como 50 de los Broadway peoples. Why are you here? Well, I don't know. Sorry. Eliseo. He's a pro. He can obviously do it. You know, the, I think the question is... He has like a chip on his shoulder. Thank you. Do you want to do eight shows a week with him? I do eight shows a week with him. I am Piraguacay. Okay? It just gets harder and harder every week. At final judging, there was one final twist to reveal. Norm. We just don't see you as the next Paragua guy. Eliseo. I'm sorry, you're out of business. Please turn in your apron and go. Another shocking double elimination. With no contestants left and an important role to be filled, the judges put their heads together as to what they should do. If only they could find an actor with the likability of Hunter, the commitment of Matthew, the vulnerability of Allison, the beauty of Cheyenne, the positivity of Telly, the determination of Derek, the vision of Noah, the wisdom of Norm, and the veteran Broadway experience of Eliseo. Then, the answer came to them. Congratulations. You are the next Piragua guy. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. It's undeniable when she steps on the stage and next to that car. It's so cute. It's like Piragua Barbie. I am so excited I won. It has been my dream to be in the show and to win the role of Paragala. This is adorable. We're gonna sell so many tickets. Keep scraping by, America. Keep scraping by.